Hello and welcome to this quick video on Open or HTX. Now this is to answer this question from Peter. Peter left a comment on a video about how do you make a control uh, kind of operate only in one direction or the other. So if I just put on here something like the uh, channel monitor, I've set it up so that as I move the aileron to one side, it just works one way and it going the other way, it appears on another channel. So you could have this set for servos that only work for half of the direction. Now this isn't too tricky. If you are interested in all of the vagaries of how you set this kind of stuff up, then I would go and check out my OpenTX Mixed School link down below. So Peter, this one's for you, but let me kind of show you how this all works. So if we go into the model settings screen, um, let's go on model settings and what we're going to do is we're going to page across until we get into the inputs. Now here's the normal for inputs, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. However, I've copied the aileron onto another channel. So aileron actually is on channel one and also input two as well. Inputs one and two are both aileron. Now what I've done here is you'll notice there's this ability to select a side for the aileron, whether or not it's equal or more than zero. Remember zero is a middle channel value or whether it's the other way. So I've set it as more uh, X is greater than zero on this one. And if we come out of that, if we go into the second one, then guess what? I'm going to have set this up when X is less than zero. So that means that this only works. It's kind of shown here by this little graph. Um, once it gets over the middle position, then it basically reads as zero. So that graph is different. If we just go back again and we have a look at the first line, we edit that, and you can see it the other way around. Until the middle position, it reads zero, and then it is read as uh, input. Now you can do this with curves, but this is a great little trick that you can use to set that up. Once I've done that then is all I've done is gone into the mixes and just connected the mixes to one of the mixes goes to the aileron channel, which is that input one. And the other one then goes to the other channel, uh, the input that I've created, which is input zero two. And then that way it means that it all works. So again, if we just go back to the channel monitor, there's channels one and two, which are now connected to inputs one and two. And as I move the aileron control, they only work for half of the direction. So hopefully, Peter, that answers it for you. The trick, as I kind of mentioned, is what you need to do is you need to go into the model settings, go across into your inputs. And the trick is to use this thing here called side, which allows you to pick the side that it's going to operate for. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.